So today was another fuck up in the training progression. So today's session is another running session. Um, we're two progressions on now, so I'm on 200 meter flats at the moment. Uh, so for the 200s, we're looking at like uh, 32 and a half seconds for 200 meters. Uh, I'm gonna do six of these in total today with full recovery in between. Uh, judging on most of the sessions in the last kind of two weeks, full recoveries have been taking like two minutes, uh, which isn't great. Uh, so yeah, recovery will be heart rate returning somewhere to kind of post warm up norm uh, and me not being too out of breath. So different session, different driveway. We're in a friend of mine's house. This uh, is just a bit flatter. So it's a small bit easier just to get like a kind of true reflection of running time. So I'm gonna do these six 200s. Uh, then I'm gonna do some slightly steeper hill sprint repeats uh, with less uh, rest in between. So it'll be sprint up, turn around, walk back, sprint up, turn around, walk back. So just active recovery in between. Uh, things that have changed since last time Obviously, we're doing a review of these shoes. Uh, they're like the Innovate. Uh, the reason these shoes are perfect for me is I have to build a lot of rigidity into my ankles and knees. Uh, and obviously having a much, much softer shoe makes it more difficult for me to bring in that rigidity. Uh, it's improved a lot over the last kind of week and a half, two weeks. Yeah, week and a half. Um, but it is something you have to really take care of and note because your Achilles and, and especially the bottom of your feet um, are very, very sensitive to that kind of change. So uh, we'll see how today's session goes. This is the first of the 200 meter runs. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how it is. So the other thing I meant to mention is that these 200s are being done as 100 meters out, turn around and come back in. Uh, so I'll show you where the 100 meter mark is. So you actually can't see it. It's a blue bush just down there. So I'll be sprinting to that, turning around and coming back. So this is the first one. I've kind of warmed up a bit. Uh, all I'll be doing is just leaving a stopwatch here, doing the run, coming back and checking it. Uh, I don't expect this to be too fast. So 35 seconds. <sighs> Pretty much just under pace. Uh, so if these are 200s, we want to do a 75 second 400. We're all good for timing.
So today was another fuck up in the training progression uh, for this. So today was supposed to be the first day of 200 um, and they were not good. Uh, so I was planning for like 90 second or two minute recoveries and the recoveries ended up taking probably three and a half, four minutes. Uh, before I did the last two, I just wasn't really recovering, so I ran them way over pace. Uh, I had to turn around my route, so I was going down a slight bit of a slight bit of hill and then coming up the incline on the the second hundred. Uh, but for the last two, I swapped it around uh, just to try and give me some bit of some bit of ability to maintain pace in the second hundred meters. Uh, and you can see how they looked. First two runs in particular I was very happy with. Uh, so first run right out of the gate was 35 seconds or I think it was slightly less, which is under pace. Uh, so I think it's 37 and a half should be the pace for this if I'm going off a five minute mile pace. Um, so that was just under pace, which is good, especially with a turn in the middle and a slight incline on the second hundred. Uh, the second one was the same. You saw the third one, it wasn't as good. Just the recovery in between sets just isn't there. Um, so look, it's like, it's another fuck up, but at the end of the day, uh, there's no better for the next progression. Like I'll probably should have done the 150s for a week instead of going from 100s to 200s. Uh, like 150s were prescribed. I just decided to skip ahead, which wasn't the right decision. Um, and now it's impacting my abilities to do the repeats afterwards. So I'm gonna have to do hill sprints during my lunch break tomorrow at work, which is all right. Uh, and then another set of 200s on Saturday, more 200s on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and we look at bringing in some constraints into that, so maybe a full 200 up a hill, uh, which should be challenging. Um, in terms of the work capacity stuff, just in the last week, I haven't been able to do the long, slow, steady, steady state stuff, which really is what I need now um, to try and build more of an aerobic base, just to get my recovery times back. Um, or to improve my recovery times. I don't think I've had recovery times in years. Uh, so I'll have to add more of those in next week. Uh, the squatting is kind of tipping away. In other news actually on this, uh, just this week, uh, I saw Dave Castro shared it that a, a CrossFit guy did a five minute oil and a 500 back squat in the same day. Which is unreal really good to see um but it, it like puts things in perspective when you see the speed he was moving out i can't remember his name uh i think he might be the head coach in ben smith's gym crossfit krypton but i'm not sure that could be completely incorrect uh so yeah he's moving really well um and it's good to see like a measure for where i'll need to be when i go for it uh so yeah exciting times <laughs> 